Hello, and good day again, Internet. I'm, of course, your host, Mr. Something, and I'm here with a second interlude of Shenmue 3. I shockingly got out of work early, so I decided I'd squeeze this in as a little surprise as I'll be uploading these before I head out to go babysit today, which is going to lead me to, of course, um... Delaying my original stream ad plan because I completely forgot about it. But we we thought we made some pretty good strides compared to last time. Um, found some clues regarding the um those thugs that are around um, looking for stonemasons. I thought she said she would take me at night. I guess I'll get my kind of fool on for a little bit. I could do something. Oh yeah, we're out of time now. Yep. <laughs> oh, it fast tracked it, so horse dance, huh? Maybe I'll give it a shot. Really, my, my attack is low, though. Maybe I'll practice some more. No, nah. I'll save it for later.
Let's see, look, it's all over the place. She knows where I have to go now. This is Shenhua's room. Welcome back. Thanks. Everything okay, Dio? Hmm? Yeah. Why do you ask? I realize this must be a big change of pace for you. So I wanted to make sure you're holding up okay. Other than a few cuts and bruises, I'm fine. Okay, just checking. I appreciate it, but you don't need to worry. All right. <clears throat> hey, Xinhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? What was school like for you? Well, there aren't any schools here. So, how do the children learn? They go to school in the next village over. But you didn't go? No. How come? I had to stay home and take care of the chores. Ah, uh, okay. My father taught me everything in the school's curriculum, though. All by himself? Yes. Every night after he came back from the quarry, no matter how tired he was. Wow. Listen, Leo. I want to hear more about you. Yeah? What's up? You went to school, didn't you? Yeah. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I did. That's good. I made a lot of friends in school. Some of the teachers were annoying, though. Were you a good student? Of course I was. Though, I wasn't good at every subject. What subjects did you like? Gym class, naturally. Yes, you look pretty athletic. Mm -hmm. Um, sure. <laughs> I was also pretty good at Japanese. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of difficult words and technique names came up in my martial arts training. So I had something of a head start. Oh, that makes sense. Hey, Xinhua. Hmm? Do you want to keep talking? Who made that swing on the Shenmu tree? My father. I used to swing on it every day when I was little. It looks fun. I loved it. I could see clear across the river if I got high enough. Maybe I should give it a shot. That might actually be dangerous. What? Why is that? Well, it wasn't built for someone big like you. Yeah, I guess not. Leo, tell me, what's your favorite memory from when you were little? Hmm, tough question. I used to buy lots of candy and eat it right there in the candy shop. Mm -hmm. There are shops that only sell candy? Yeah. And one of them was right by my house. It was all really cheap, too. And you could eat what you bought right there? Yeah. So, my friends and I would go almost every day that certainly sounds like fun the foul-mouthed old lady who ran the shop would give us free treats sometimes she sounds like kong mei over in the panda market where i need to go is she the same way yes she has a dirty mouth but the kids love her she's pretty similar then Leo. What's up? There's a game that's taking Bailu by storm right now. Want to play? What kind of game? It's called Face Off. What kind of name is that? Okay, I'll play. Face Off. Ready. Set. Scissors. 
Rock. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. Mm. So, want to play again? Face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Paper. Huh? It's a tie then. <laughs> You're good at this. So are you. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. Paper. Scissors. Damn it. I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? He's gonna beat you once. Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Rock. What is that face? Don't make me laugh. I could say the same to you. Okay, it's a tie. One more round. Let's go. Okay, here goes. Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Paper. Damn it! I win. That was a hideous <sighs> face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? I'm gonna beat you one of these things. Face off. Ready. Set. Rock. Scissors. Yes. Finally. Ha! I won. Your face. <laughs> oh no, I'm not letting you quit while you're ahead. One more game. Face off. Ready. Set. Hmm. Paper. Scissors. Damn it! I win. That was a hideous face, by the way. What? Ouch. So, want to play again? I actually can't win I don't this. really have time. Oh, you're no fun. You want my behind. Theo. What's up? There's a game that's taking Bailu by storm right now. Want to play? What kind of game? It's called Face Off. What kind of name is that? I don't really have time. Oh, you're no fun. So in the morning I have to find out where he lives. I'll take it. Looks this I'll take it. Going to town for a day, find out where this guy's at, and drinking. I'm about to fight. Leo, it's morning. Hmm. Right.
Hey, we all. Hmm? Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks. I will. Hmm. Still swam. Xiong? What is it, Ryo? Which way is it to the Panda Market? Need something? There's something I need to take care of. You know, they call it the Panda Market, but they don't even sell pandas. What's up with that? Mm -hmm. Right. What? Am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong. I'd love to test my skills on a panda. Mm -hmm. You know, you're the second Japanese person that's asked me the same question. I see. There's a signpost up ahead. You'll know it when you see it. Got it. Thanks a lot. Get some more food and head out there. Straight ahead. What are you doing? Hey, mister, guess who's it? Let's play hide and seek. Sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Maybe later. Why won't you play with me? Sorry. Oh my gosh, it's so humid. Today. Maybe I'll talk to a few folks around here. Excuse me. What is it? Which way is it to the Panda Market? I'm not interested in any markets that don't deal in fish. <sighs> Behind the bell tower. Got it. Thanks a lot. Jeez. These headphones are so sick. It sounded like that was nearby. It's you. Sorry? You're the Japanese boy everyone in the village is talking about, right? Yeah. Would you like to have a look at my shop? Sure. As you can see, I operate a pawn shop. I do sales and exchanges. 
Exchanges? Indeed. Gather a set of items together and bring them to me. You can then trade them in for a skill book. Is that so? Yes, you look rather tough. May I presume you are interested in skill books? You could say that. Yeah. Then by all means, trade with me. It will be far cheaper than buying elsewhere. That's good to know. Come see me whenever you get a set together. Okay, I will. Welcome. Well, come on in. You've got something to sell? I'll buy it, and I'll give you a good deal, too. You can exchange complete sets of items as well. You can exchange complete sets of items here, if you have any. I trust you're satisfied. Come by anytime if you have something you'd like to exchange. Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. Are you that friend of Shen Hua's who came to town recently? Y yeah I knew it! As soon as I laid eyes on you. The rumors were true. You are cool with a slight bad boy feel about you. <laughs> Wait, rumors? What's your name? I'm Hazuki. No, no, your first name. Oh, um, Ryo. Ryo, is it? I'll remember that. Why, hello there. Out shopping today? I have so many things that it's hard to keep track. Come on back whenever you're in the mood. Hello there. Never seen you around before. You a tourist? You could say that. Figures. There's not a whole lot to see around here, though. <laughs> I see. You know you're in a small town when Kong Mei's store is the biggest attraction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alright, so you have no information to tell me. Let's move onwards. Do you have a moment? Sure thing. Do you know where Mr. Cuz's house is? You don't have far to go. 
It's on the other side of the prize exchange over there. Thanks a lot for your help. Here's the prize exchange. So up on the hill, I'm guessing. Oh, this is it. Is anyone there? Uh, it seems nobody's home. I'll come again later. Pardon me. Hiya. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. He won't be home yet. It's still light out. But I don't think he's been home for days. Is that so? Excuse me. Yes? Sorry to bother you. You're a first timer, aren't you? Yes, I am. I know it's not much, but welcome to my restaurant. Thank you for having me. What are you doing? Hey, Rio. Let's play. Sorry, I'm a little busy right now. Maybe later. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. It's the house at the end over there. There's a stone out in front of the house. You can't miss it. Okay, thanks. Do you have a moment? Sure. I'm looking for Mr. Ka. Oh, he's not around. Ka usually isn't back until after seven. <sighs> I see. Excuse me. Hey there, young man. I've got the best prices. Oh shoot. So you say you didn't know that. Excuse me. Is there a stonemason named Mr. Kuh here? 
Why do you ask? I heard that some thugs came through town and caused a lot of damage recently. Thugs, you say? Yes. There were two. One had a spider tattooed on his head. Oh, those guys. Yeah, they came by. They were screaming, where's the Phoenix mirror? As they searched my house. As you can see. There's a clue. You're sure they said Phoenix mirror? Yep. I'm looking for stonemasons. Do you know any others? Why are you looking for them? It seems those thugs are targeting the village's stonemasons. Well, there's a young guy named Yen Shin down in the Rainbow Basin. I hope they haven't gotten to him. The Rainbow Basin. Got it. Thanks. No problem. It's gotten so dark. Maybe I should head back to Shenhua's house. Take my tack up and down as where the neighborhood it, around is. Hey, Shenhua. What is it, Liao? I spoke with Ka Chun Hao, the stonemason. He says the thugs attacked him too. Oh no. He's fine. Don't worry. That's a relief. Yes. He said that his house got wrecked, though. Why would they do that? Because they were after the Phoenix Mirror. Really? So, what do we do now? I heard a stonemason by the name of Yan Xing lives in the Rainbow Basin. Oh no, Yan Xing. You know him? Yes. He trained under my father. We've hosted him at the house several times. That's good to know. I'll pay him a visit tomorrow, then. Okay. I've noticed there aren't many men in Bailu. Oh? There are a lot of kids and elderly people, but nobody in between. That's because the men are in the city. All day, every day? Yes. Around this time each year, they leave their families behind to go work in the city. Huh. That must be tough. It is. Some of them never come back. Really? I've heard stories about men who get used to city life and decide they'd rather just stay. Wow. Is it true? Is what true? Is the city really that nice? Well, it's definitely more convenient than Bailu. So, you prefer the city? It's not an either-or situation. Why not? Home is wherever my family, friends, and loved ones are. So people matter most to you. Yeah. Hey, oops. I thought she was out. My S3s!
Leo, it's morning. Hmm. Right. Good morning, Leo. Good morning. Did you get enough rest? Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll take it. Looks, yes, I'll take it. Get my attack up. Find out where to go. Hey, Leo. Hmm? Have a good day. Be safe. Thanks. I will. Don't fool. to train actually I just have a question mm. a martial artist has no need for small talk oh, only gosh. for training right do you understand yes even gems require polish keep training I understand uh, geez, you know, you know, bring it help. excuse me mm. here to train have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? So you wish to fight? I believe you will find Black Tiger a suitable opponent. Quite the match. I didn't think you'd defeat him. Your rank has been raised. Keep up the good work. Excuse me. Hmm. Here to train? Have you come to spar or fight one of the monks? Which will it be? I have the perfect sparring partner for you. This is Red Tiger. You may start immediately. Yeah. 
What say you? Will you keep going? You did attack me, so four. Say you, will you keep going? Here we give me level four. Anytime, I'll be waiting.
They got it now. Hello, Leo. Ah, Leo. Um, if only those thugs would show up. I'd love to make them suffer with my own two hands. I see. Hey, you guys are not going to help me find out where they're at. Mr. Tao. What is it? Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? It's a total 180 from my shop. It's past the village square. Got it. Thanks a lot. What is it, Rio? Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? Need something? I'm looking for Yan Xing's house. You don't mean old Zi Zhuan's place, do you? Well, sorta. You gotta watch out for that one. That <laughs> silver tongue of hers will have you wrapped around her finger in no time. <laughs> right. <sighs> Excuse me. What is it? I'm trying to get to Yan Xing's house. Which way is it to the Rainbow Basin? That's a bit of a hike. It's a ways past the Sunflower Grove. I see. Mr. Ye's place, right? Yan Xing is that weaver's son. Got it. Thanks a lot. Here we go. Oh gosh, they're here. Out of my way, I said! Leave me alone! I told you! My son isn't here! Just move already! What do you think you're doing? Huh? Who the hell are you? You must be the thugs that wrecked Shu's house. 
Now tell us who you are. Not until you tell me why you're tearing this village apart. That's none of your damn business. Hey. Let's mess this kid up. Why couldn't, why couldn't I heal? Uh, damn it. You're all bark and no bite. Did you really think you could beat us like that? Hit the dojo. Back to square one for you. My way, I said. Leave me alone. Why couldn't I? Like, seriously, I can't pull my healing items up while I'm fighting? Uh, damn it. Here, I'll bark and no bite. Did you really think you could beat us like that? Hit the dojo. Back to square one for you. <laughs> Like, why? It says I can use medicine, but it won't let me do it. What the hell? Uh, damn it. You're all barking, no bite. <laughs> Did you really think you could beat us like that? Hit the dojo. Back to square one for you. I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to get some medicine. Because I can't. How can I not beat them? All right, I'm about to go back to square one. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and um, be ready for um, the next part of this. Hopefully, I can beat them on that next part. So, um, again, thanks for watching. Thank you for doing all the YouTube stuff, and um, of course, as always, be kind to one another. Love, peace, chicken grease. 
and I'll see y'all again soon with another interlude.